Hi everyone, let's transform into Cinderella. I'm using the Kat Von D Locket Tattoo Foundation and I got this foundation especially for this video because Cinderella is a cartoon and she's perfect and flawless so I wanted to get as close as I could to her skin and this foundation is completely full coverage. As you can see it took out my brow color so it works pretty good. Um, and then I went in with my NARS concealer in custard and just brightened up my under eyes. Cinderella's brows have a thin rounded shape so I'm going to take my cargo tinted wax and round off my brows as much as I can but still fill in those sparse areas and also I'm definitely going a lot thinner than what I'm used to for my brows but it definitely has that cartoon effect so try to go as thin as you can if you have a little bit of a thickness on the tail just clean it off with a clean brush. And then I'm going to go in with my Ico Brow Gel just to set my brows in place. Um, I tend to have a little bit of a droopy brow syndrome, so I'm just trying to fix that. And then with Makeup Geek's Peach Smoothie, I'm using this as a base, and I'm going to go from the lid all the way to the brow bone, just so that you have a nice, smooth, even base. To make sure that we look super cartoon flawless, I'm going to take the Urban Decay Powder Foundation and it's going to lock everything in and also add another layer of coverage. Now I'm taking the Sigma Final Touch Inner Rim Liner and it's a milky pink liner and it's going to make our eyes really pop and give us that doughy eyed princess look. To add soft depth to the eyes, I'm going to take the um, Stroke of Midnight palette using this color here, this is Omega, and I'm going to apply this to my lower lash line and also on the crease. So now I'm going to take this mauve color here and I'm going to place it right on the crease and then I'm going to blend it upwards towards the brow bone. Just to make sure there isn't any harsh lines, I'm taking a big fluffy brush and blending the edges. Now I'm taking this P2 pink color here, this is Vapor, and I'm going to use a smudger brush just to lightly dust this onto the inner corners. Now I'm going to create a small delicate wing, and I usually like to start outwards and create the flick and then work my way inwards. And I'm going to elongate the wing just a bit past where the eye naturally stops. And this is going to give us a really nice, pretty, lifted look. So now I'm going to take the Studio Fix Lash Mascara from the Cinderella Collection and I'm just going to apply a few coats to the top and bottom lashes. For the lashes, I wanted something that was really fluttery and whimsical for the outer corner and these were perfect. These are the Miss Glam Beauty Lashes in Full On Glam and I like to usually start right on the center and then attach one side at a time.
Now I'm going to do a soft contour. To do that, I'm using the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Matte Bronzer and I'm just lightly um, defining my face right along the cheekbones and the nose just to straighten it out and kind of make it look a little bit thinner at the end because Cinderella has a tiny cute little nose. For a light flush of color on the cheeks, I'm taking Tarte's Celebrated Blush and I'm going from the tops of my cheekbones all the way in towards the outer part of my nose to give us a more cartoon looking effect. To get that glowing princess effect on your face, I am taking my Mary Luminizer, which is currently my favorite highlighter, and I'm placing it right on the tops of my cheekbones, the tip of my nose in the center of the brows to give us a dipping effect, and right on the cupid's bow. For the lips, I'm going to define them with the Aqua Lips by Makeup Forever. This is in the color C3, I believe. I don't know, I'm not too sure, but I'll have it all listed below for you guys. And then I'm going to apply my Gerard Cosmetics Nude Lipstick. This is an orangey nude. And then because it's kind of too orangey for me, I'm going to go right over the top of it with Godmother, which is a really pretty pink. And this is the finished look. I love how fresh, glowing, and doughy-eyed this look is. Anybody can wear this and look absolutely amazing. I love you guys so much and I had so much fun doing this video. And this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was super fun for me to make. I love Disney and Cinderella and I'm super excited for the movie to come out and let me know what you guys think below. If you missed my last two videos, you can check them out right down there and if you tweeted or Instagrammed me, you're going to be right on this side and I feel extra like huh, today. So that's it. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye dollies.